Cause your love is devoted Like a ring of solid gold Like a vow that is tested Like a covenant in a bowl And your love is enduring Through the winter rain And beyond the horizon With mercy for today Faithful you have been, faithful you will be. You pledge yourself to me, and it's why I sing your praise will ever be on my lips, ever be on my lips. Your praise will ever be on my lips, ever be on my lips. Your praise will ever be on my lips, ever be on my lips. Him up, so just continue to lift him up, even if you're unsure about something this morning. If you're unsure about singing, stepping out in prayer, giving that person next to you a hug, whatever it is, as we continue to lift Christ up, He will strengthen us, He will empower us. So let's just continue to sing that right now. You will be praised.
angels and saints we sing worthy are you Amen. He's good. Amen. He's awesome. He's given us new life. He's resurrected us with him. And precious compassion that pours from the wounds that have won our salvation and sin was strong but the savior is stronger come let us worship him the day that we owe and our heart was the price of our healing paid in full by the one who is worthy come let us worship him
creation now our song will rise adoring Christ the Lord sin was strong but Jesus is stronger our shame was great but Jesus you're greater sin was strong but Jesus is stronger our shame was great but Jesus you're greater sin was strong so good. We just thank you for your strength and your grace in it all. We try to do so much just to earn your love, but you've already done it all. You've already given it. negative. Usually, yeah, but I, I want to go, but, and then like the Lord does, he redeems everything and makes it good. And so this word, sin was strong, but Jesus is stronger. Our shame was great, but Jesus is greater. When you hear, but God, it's going to be a good day. And so, I don't know about you, I had a rough Thanksgiving. I had a rough one. <laughs> there was a lot going on and it was really hard and difficult. But God, <laughs> but God. So wherever you're at today, just know there is a but <laughs> in your story. But Jesus, and it will restore and redeem and bring good for good. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. 
You know, today, uh, as we just sing in this song, brings a remembrance to me that uh, the bigger sin that you've had in your life, sometimes the bigger appreciation you can have for what Jesus did on the cross. <laughs> Forgiveness came at a higher price for different people, isn't it? Not that it's a higher price, but maybe the deeper you can understand it. I, Sometimes we watch the talent shows and they always, you know, you have a 13-year-old girl talking about this hard life and you say, yeah, right, you know. And they keep on saying, well, you know, what can you relate it to in your life? And a lot of them have not had the bumps of life. But someone who's been through that, when I was a young man, just a teenager in a Baptist church, this lady was singing about the blood of Christ. And uh, her testimony was that she was a Vegas gal and she up on stage looked like a, a million dollars, but when you got close, you saw all these wrinkles in a hard life. Now, I was just a teenager, so she, she was probably not even 30 years old, but back then I thought she, I'd say she looked like she was 60. Today I say she looked like she was 90 because now I'm 60. But, uh, but she had the hard road of life. You couldn't see it from back there, but when you got close, you saw it all over her face. But when she talked about the blood of Christ, you knew someone who had gone through hell, but God gave her a new birth. Her forgiveness was great on that cross, so her deepness of understanding a song like that was so deep in her heart. So I want to encourage you today that we all have a story. We've all gone through deep things in our life, and God is saying to you today that receive back from me the soul just receive back my mercy and grace because that's what he did upon that cross and so through the challenges of life and through the making of mistakes and we all make mistakes we all do dumb things we all we all have areas of our life that we say god i need your grace to cover that in my life and thank you for the cross and today we're coming to a point of of communion at some point but that, what Jesus did on the cross with the forgiveness of my sins and the cleansingness of all my unrighteousness. Church, just receive that this morning. Receive it in your heart. And maybe some of you just want to come and kneel before the Lord and just say, Lord, I just give it all to you. And just give it all to him today and receive back his grace and mercy. God is faithful to the faithless. And so many times in my life, I've been faithless instead of faithful. But he has never less. He's always been faithful to me. So let's again, just in our hearts, recommit afresh our soul and our heart to him this morning and just receive back his grace, his mercy is new every morning. Amen. Your glory is so beautiful 
Your glory is so beautiful My life is yours My life is yours My hope is in Your glory is so beautiful I fall onto my knees in awe And the heartbeat of my life Is to worship in your life Cause your glory is so beautiful your glory is so beautiful
It's so important to know that his blood covers it all. I've been going through just a time in my life figuring out who God says I really am. Am I just the worship leader? Am I just the guy who plays guitar? Or am I his son? Can I step out in his goodness, in his grace, in the covering of his blood? Every time I step back, he just pushes me forward. It's so important to know that truth. He's so good. There's no shame in his presence. There's no shame. There's no shame in his presence. So let's just sing that chorus again. Who can wash away? Just hold on to that. And just believe it in your heart. to clean something up that was really dirty you know what I'm saying typically you take a lot of time you, you're like cleaning that the thing it's like scrub the outside you gotta get the outside really nice the inside you're like it's really the inside some of you are grossed out by this it's okay you got a dirty cup the outside is fine clean that thing up it's the inside you've got to clean up really well in order for you to want to use it again Jesus is so wonderful. He cleaned your inside. He didn't, he didn't take the easy route and just like powder you up to make you look good for a Sunday and you all look really good. No, he did the hard labor, the hard work. The scripture says that, it says he labored <laughs> so that your inside would be made clean. Not because of what you do, because of who he is. Because of who he is, he did what he did. 
He cleaned the inside. He gave his blood that the inside of us would be made a pure, able dwelling place of God. How wonderful is that? How amazing is that? It's so simple. It's just so simple. Um, but every day I'm blown away that God likes to live inside of me. Wherever you're at today, whatever you feel, listen, the truth is this. God likes to live inside of you. Some of you are going to need to let him take you past feelings. Because if, if the truth is that God likes to live inside of you, then you've got some issues with your feelings. Because <laughs> you don't even like what's happening inside of you. So you've got to come to the place and say, okay, then I give up. I just give up. God, if you say you like to make a home inside of me and you like to give your life to me, okay. And so I just want to pray over you this morning as we continue. We just... If you're just in a place, man, you'd love to have that, that deeper place of, of heaven's reality in your life, of oneness with God, this beautiful picture of the insight of you being made clean. That's the thoughts, the feelings, the emotions, the affections, things we worship. That's, those are things we have affection for. If that's you, you just put your hands out just to receive just by faith. I just want to bless you and pray. Father, thank you for grace this morning. Grace is the power to become, through your Spirit, who we already are in heaven. So, Holy Spirit, we welcome grace this morning. Uh, to speak over this family, over this house, each one, your grace for them to become, here on earth, what you already see them as in Christ in heaven. Thank you for doing it, Father. Thank you for being the wellspring of life from within us. We don't have to weave our emotions around anything else. We just surrender them to you. And we say, God, thank you for letting us experience heaven now with you and a clean inside by your blood and by the filling of your spirit. In Jesus' name, we all pray. You say amen. Amen. You can give God another round of applause.